Hello, beautiful people. You guys are welcome to this tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Lukafo, and today uh, I just said oh, <laughs> this will be a tutorial, but no, this is going to be a rig review inside Blender. So we have been looking at the rigify rig um, in this channel with the eye of a uh, with the eye of a rigger, but today we'll be looking at this rig uh, with the eye of an animator. So if you want to download this trick which I've created, the link will be in the description for you to download it and start playing with it. And if you want to know how to set up your own rig, I'm going to put a link also in the description so you can check that out um, also. So today um, we'll be looking at how to use this rig and understand this rig and look at all the nice features that this brings um, to the animator that plans to use it. So to understand it better, I'll just go ahead and disable most of all the functionality so we are just left with the root bone so this root bone you should know it controls the translation rotation and scale of the entire character which is really handy uh, so let's start with the torso so the torso have the basic controllers which you find with most good character rig it has an ik um, kind of hip which you could really control on and off so you can move this also have one for the hip and just play around with so these are just basic um, controls which you find with um, any other rig so another cool thing with this torso is that you can actually control the parent so by default it's set to root you can set this to none and now you can move this control and the torso will not move but i doubt there's any practical reason for that i don't know but usually you just want to set it to the root and everything should work you also have some cool functionality for the head and neck so for this you can set the head follow to zero and once you do this uh, that should not follow right. okay so once you do this you can see we get this kind of nice um, head being static especially maybe you're trying to animate a shot where your car you need your character head to stay both without um, just changing the action and you just need to move the shoulder slightly um, this option will come in handy so you can just um, control that and all these values are animatable so you can see if I put it and set the head follow you can see it works okay so that's that um so another cool feature is the tweak uh for the torso so with this you can push it the uh, posing even further um so let's say you want to just um exaggerate some action you can do it with this tweak um bone so let's go down to the finger so with this we have basic fingers that we could just hit uh, quickly uh pose the fingers and then once you want to add more details um, to the finger you can enable this finger details and I'm going to set my if I just bring out this okay so I'm going to set my or orientation to look normal so that's why I have it like this so just rotate this and pose the finger really well okay so that's the finger tweak bones um, let's move on to some fo uh, fun stuff. So let's do the um, arm IK and the right arm and left arm IK. So, so now with this, uh, if I move this, nothing is happening because currently we have it set to FK. So you could switch that quickly. And if you, so this slider is going to switch from IK to FK. So right now, if we switch, turn this off, we will have the IK working. So if you want to use, use FK, you can switch it like this. So for the FK arm, um, you can enable it through this button. So F, this is the um, FK arms, so you can enable that too. And a good thing that it has is the snapping feature. So you could snap the FK to the IK, which is really helpful for just quickly pausing and switching between the two. Though most times when I'm animating, I usually prefer to leave it in FK, especially for the arm. Um, you get more natural movements um, in contrast to using IK to animate uh, but yeah okay so uh, if you don't see your vector pool that's by that I mean this elbow control um, you can always enable it here so if you have this set to one um, 
then you can see it. if not it's not going to be visible so that's that so let's keep going so we have the amp tweak just really um, cool we could just play this around in case you want to get this kind of cutting exaggerated motions you can do it with this <coughs> And another cool feature is the stretching. So by default, the rig is stretching, but you can actually um, disable that with this um, slider. So if you don't want the stretching, you can turn that off. And let's look at the FK. I don't think I talk, I, show, I show that. So if we enable the FK by selecting the IK control bone and just set this to one, and if you don't want to see the IKM, you can turn it off. So this is what we have now. This is the FK ham, hand. And the tweak bones also work with the FKM, which is really cool. Okay, so that's that for the arm. Let's see what we can do. So we ha also have the leg. And the leg have the, set, um, the same set of the um, IK and the FK. So you could switch between the two and it has basic functionality of every good rig so you have the ro foot um, roll and everything which is really cool and you can also tweak it like you, you can do for the arm just to get some custom motion and you can also also restrict um, how stretchy you want it to be so right now it's not stretchy but if you increase this it's going to be stretchy and of course you can use the vector pool so right now if I move this and I want to make the FK snap to it I can just click on this button and it's going to snap the FK to the IK bone and as I said earlier you can just right click and insert keyframe and animate so that's the basic functionality of this you want to um, try and go in and really check this out this is a really helpful powerful rig um, which can really speed up your process of creating an animation um, as I said earlier the rig will be in the description so you guys can download it and check it out um, if you want to know how I created this rig I have a tutorial in this channel and you can check it out if you have any questions you can leave it all my informations that you have, all the informations you need to know about me will also be in the description in case you need to reach me out personally okay so bye bye for now see you next time